Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech World with MJ. This is Muradi. Today I will explain one of the very uh, important topic called Sonar Cube. So basically, Sonar Cube is one of the code analysis tools, which is uh, basically used to generate uh, the code health and uh, the uh, coverage report and all. Okay. For that, you need the two prerequisites. So first of all, you need to be installed updated version of Java. So that links i will provide you in the description so from here you can download the latest version of java so once you will click that uh, on that links you have the download java button so once you will click on that download java button you will have the updated java to be downloaded in your download file and another prerequisite is uh, you must have the sonar binary uh, available in your window system so this link will also be there in your description Currently, I just show you from here, you can go and download it. So, uh, I mean, community version is totally free. So here you can go and uh, download the free community version and you can use for your uh, project works or you can use for that uh, your personal practice works. Uh, works okay. Other than uh, some paid version is also there with uh, some different uh, scenarios or different, uh, I mean, um, broad range of criteria and everything. Okay. So now, uh, will go in our system and will show you how uh, you will do the further steps uh, related to sonar cube so for example in my download file i have these two things that i have downloaded okay so i have the java file already available and the sonar cube i already uh, i mean downloaded and unzip this file so in my case uh, the java is already installed in my system but in your case you must have to install the java okay and uh, for example, uh, if you want to check uh, in any circumstances, if you think that Java is already there in your system, so here you can go and check Java is there or not. So I will write Java here version. If Java will be there in the in my system, so it will provide a, a valid version. So it means the Java is available in my systems. Okay. So in some uh, circumstances, if uh, this commands will not recognize from here, then I mean, you have to add uh, these things from here as well. Uh, so you will go in the environment variable and here in the environment variable, you will go and select the path and you will click on edit. So in my case, uh, the Java is already there in the environment variable, but in any circumstances, if you feel uh, your Java after installation, your Java is not recognized from the command prompt. So in this case, you have to add that Java uh, location in your environment variable. For adding here, you will click on new, okay? And on the new, uh, you will just paste whatever location you have of your Java installed Java, okay? that it's uh, related to the environment variable but in uh, the i mean uh, this is the very less amount of the scenario where you have to add the environment variable otherwise it is uh, automatically uh, added when you are uh, when you will go for to install in your system okay so that it's in my case it is already there so i will not do anything related to that now i will go the another step called how you can configure the sonar cube so currently i have downloaded the sonar cube i have unzipped because when you will download then this will be available in the zip format so you will need to unzip it now you just need to copy it okay so i already have copy so for your understanding i will just copy it and i'll go in the c drive okay so inside the c drive because this is a binary file so just i will go and paste it so i will not paste because in my case i already have the latest sonar cube version is available so this is uh so you just have to in in your case if you are doing the first time you you just need to paste here okay now your java is available in the system the sonar cube is already available in the system so uh, the next step will be how you can start your sonar cube to see for the things okay so here, here i will click on this uh, currently, I'm on the window only. That's why I please focus on the window related activities. So here you will click on the bin. Once you will click on the bin, here you will have the option window 8664. Here you will click on window 8664. Now I will click on the sonar bat. 
okay this because this is a batch file so it will uh, running on dot dot bat i mean it will take uh, i mean 10 to 15 second uh, and the first time so it is going to be started right now i will start one of my any project that i will use to build with the sonar cubes and i will show you how we can build it so currently i'm using the visual studio 2022 and our project is a something demo project so i will show you how the sonar cube will looks like or how the that code will connect with the sonar cube so i will show you everything okay so, i mean it is taking time because this is the first time so it will take some time so i mean we should wait here okay so here you can see the elastic search is up and running process is up and running here you will have some other messages like the sonar queue is up and running so once you will have that message uh, please wait some more seconds meanwhile we'll try to run the sonar queue on our browser so sonar queue uh, sonar queue is running on 9000 ports so here we'll try to run it localhost 9000 so already in my system it is and it will take some time because it is in progress right now so once it will be there like sonar cube is up and running then we'll just go and run it currently it is not running i mean it should not take that time because uh, my system is slow so right now so it is taking some time okay so i think it is up and running so once it is up and running so here you will have a different message called uh, your sonar cube is up and running okay uh, so i mean internally it is up and running but message will come in sometime wait here i will just show you what message it is okay now meanwhile because the process is going on that's why it is also loading here once this process will be finished okay so here you may see the process is up i mean uh, this has already up now i will go and go on home so here on home uh, i mean by default there is a user id and password is i mean an admin here you will click on that login so once you will log in then you will have some of the project okay already which is available but right now in my case I will create a new project and will show you how that new project this is a dotnet project dot access project so how uh, i mean how uh, that dotnet project will communicate it with uh, the sonar cube i will show so here i will click on manually so here we will have the different option either you can uh, directly connect with your, your github or gitlab or you can do the manual as well so here i will do the manual so i will write here fcc demo you can give any name as per your requirement so uh, i will give abscess demo okay i will click on setup okay now we will have different things like we can do with jenkins as well we can go with uh, gitlab github everything we can do so currently i will do uh, the manual activity that's why i will click on that manual and here you will generate a token so which is generate token okay now you will click on 
token okay now you need to select uh, what is the i mean project version of yours so currently i will use the dotnet 6 that's why i will click on dotnet 6 so once you will click on dotnet 6 it will provide you uh, the whole commands uh, that you need to run that sonar queue to generate whatever report you have so the first command is this this command is basically used to check the sonar queue is successfully installed or not or sonar queue is available or not in your systems okay the another one is uh, to begin if the sonar queue is available then another command is for begin the sonar queue in your systems to find the uh, i mean code report another one is build so this section is basically used for building the uh, sonar cube. Uh, another section is uh, the sonar cube end. So I mean, uh, the all four is required. Uh, the first is just for understanding the sonar cube is available or not. If you are confident that sonar cube uh, is available in your system, then it is this command is not required. But these three command is required uh, to generate uh, the report. So now I will show you how uh, we can generate the report. So for that you just need to do one thing you need to go in your root folders i mean under the solutions so here i am now i will click here cmd i mean i have to open the command prompt from here okay so the command form is successfully open now i will just copy our first commands and will run to check the sonar quiz is available or not if sonar queue will available then it will give an error like here tool.net sonar cube is already installed if the sonar cube will not be installed i mean these tools like uh, scanning tools is not be installed first of uh, first time then it will install it okay so it is already installed so it is not required to be installed now we'll go, go on our second commands which is start the sonar scanner okay so here i will i had copied and will paste here so this is the second commands that is basically used to start the sonar scanner so we'll click on this so our sonar scanner is going to be started once this terminal is to be ended and we'll go on the another terminal then you will paste the another commands called build so i have copied here uh, the build from here now we'll go and paste here so this command will take some time because this is basically building your uh, project so when your project will be built i mean it will take uh, uh, one minute approximately uh, it is depend on how long your project is it, how big your project it is okay so it is going to be building the your code once the building will be done so it will be go outside of this terminal so once it will be go outside of this terminal then we'll use the third one which is called sonar scanner and once you will click on that one uh, i mean this command will be executed successfully then your whole report will be generated on the sonar cube panel i'm talking here okay so i mean it is building right now okay so uh, there is a four warning there is no any error i mean the build is succeeded succeeded now i will use our last command called sonar and uh, sonar scanner and so here i will go and use this particular command and will hit so it means your scanning process is ending once your scanning process is ending so you can experience in the background your report will be there with the success or fail conditions on the sonar panel so here you may see once our process will be finished then this skin will be looks like different okay so it will take five to ten seconds okay this is finished right now here you may see now our screen is changed so here it is showing the background task is going on i mean it will take five seconds to load everything I mean uh, 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 related to your code and all so we have to wait for some time okay so once uh, your background will be finished that means uh, now I I mean previously I have created the FCC demo and uh, I have executed these three commands 
so after that these three commands the our code is uh, report is generated here uh, you may see i mean this is a very basic project that's why the everything is looks okay uh, reliability is okay i mean here is uh, the uh, bugs vulnerabilities security hotspot and uh, how many duplicate code, uh, code uh, duplicate code is there so probably this is the very i mean uh, basic project there is nothing uh, inside that's why it is showing everything is uh, right but in uh, the project uh, it is depend on project length how the project or code you have done inside so it will form so this is the overview i mean this is the main page here you can go in the issue tab here um, uh, this will indicate that the particular thing is uh, you need to improve or, or there is some issue uh, I mean, it will show everything like it will take two, uh, I mean, it will take how many time it can take, how many efforts it will take. I mean, these type of things you can see here. Security hotspot, if uh, any classes, which is, uh, I mean, uh, required to be improved, then it will be under the security hotspot med, um, measure. So this is uh, the measuring of uh, the reliability, security and, and everything. Okay. This is the code. So, I mean, uh, there is two uh, classes in my repository so this classes uh, i mean how many bug is there how many code smell is there security hot report code coverage everything is showing here as a combined reports okay so that's all regarding how you can uh, i mean configure the sonar queue with our visual studio or dotnet 6 or any other dotnet applications okay and regarding uh, the more about sonar queue i have i have created a video for how to generate the report because by default sonar queue doesn't have the options to generate i mean in the uh, community version uh, we don't have option to generate the report so uh, for that i already created a separate video so i will add in the description so you can go ahead and check out this video okay so that's all uh, in terms of sonar uh, sonar queue configuration so if you feel this video looks helpful to you so please subscribe our channel and hit the like button and please do not forget to hit the bell icon for the future updated videos uh, related to software and the new technology in the markets and your high i mean like will uh, help us to i mean spread this type of informative video in the across the globes Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thanks for the watching.